Good morning, students! Good morning, good morning! A happy Wednesday to everyone! How are you today? Are you good? Do you feel great? Teacher May is very happy today. Why? Because the weather is sunny. That's why Teacher May wearing a yellow t-shirt for today. How about you? What are you wearing today? Very good. So are you ready for our new lessons for today? Perfect. Let's go and let's start our new lessons for today. Hooray, hooray for Wednesday. Okay. Before we start to our new lessons, what is our previous lesson? We did you do your homework? What? What was our last lessons about? About the first chapter of the book. How, what are they? Very good. It's about physical appearance. Long and short. The color of hair. Very good. The, the lines and the patterns. Very good. Okay, let's go to our new lessons for today. Welcome to Sansuk School. What is that? Oh, it's a sports. Do you like sports? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Teacher May likes to watch sports, but I am not good in sports. Okay, let's take some fun. Before that, Look at the picture. Do you see what is in the picture? Oh, I am afraid. I am afraid using this small boat and the current of water is very strong. So let's take some adventure. Do you like adventure sports? When you say adventure sports, like this in the picture. You are adventurous. You like to discover something new and something can thrill you. Okay. Do you like adventure sports? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Or you can say, yes, I do. No, I didn't. Okay. First, what is the new words for today? Sailing. Sailing. S A I L I N G. Sailing. Mountain biking. Mountain biking. M O U N T A I N. Mountain. Biking. B I K I N G. Biking. Again, repeat after teacher May. Mountain biking. Sailing. Very good. Ice skating. Ice Skating, I C E ice skating, S K A T I N G, ice skating. This one, snowboarding, snowboarding, S N O W B O A R D I N G, snowboarding, and skateboarding, S K A T E. B O A R D I N G. Skateboarding. Very good. Next one. Kayaking. Kayaking. K A Y A K I N G. Kayaking. And last is fishing. Fishing. F I S H I N G. Fishing. Bowling, bowling, B O W L I N G, bowling, and skiing, skiing, S K I I N G, skiing, motocross, motocross, 
M O T O C R O S S. Motocross. Again, let's read. Mountain biking, sailing, ice skating, fishing, snowboarding, bowling, skateboarding, skiing, kayaking, motocross. Very good. Perfect. Let us explore new sports. What is mountain biking? When you say mountain, it is, look at the picture. And when you say biking, we use bicycle. So this is the mountain biking. We go to the mountain using our bicycle. So you can, you can try that to explore new sports if you are very adventurous person. Now, what is that? The weather is very cold and a lot of snow. It's a snowboarding. Do you know how to use that? Maybe teacher cannot. Wow, it looks like a sailing one. What is that? It's a sailing. Wow, it's a sailing sport. Do you want to try that one? Let's go and try another one. What is that? It's a ice skating. If you, if you want to have fun, you can use this sports or you can try the sport, the ice skating. Bowling. What is that? Bowling. If you want to unwind, you can use the bowling. And this one, another one. If you want some adventure, you can try the skiing in the mountain too. Okay, next. It's a fishing. This is very a peaceful sport for me. Why? Because you know, just need to wait until you catch the fish. So it's a fishing. This is also a fun sport. It's a kayaking. But sometimes I'm afraid to use to to ride in the small boat. I'm afraid. I'm scared. Oh, this is the most thrilling sports for me. It's a motocross. Oh, are you good at sports? If yes, you can say yes, I am. If not, you can say no, I am not. Again, are you good at sports? If you are good, you can say, yes, I am. If not, you can say, no, I am not. What are you good at? What are you good at? I am good at kayaking. I am good in bowling. I am good in motocross. Okay? Look at the picture. This is Ben. This is Ben. He is good at motocross. What do you think? Yes, he is. He is very good at motocross. He is he good at motocross? Yes, he is very good at motocross. Look at Bart. Do you think Bart is good in sailing? What do you think? Is he good at sailing? No, he is not good at sailing. Again, can you say, no, he is not good at sailing. Look at Josh. This is Josh. Is he good at snowboarding? Yes or no? Yes, he is. Is he good at snowboarding? Look at Peter. No, he is not good at snowboarding. Let us practice the yes, I am and no, I am not again. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Example. Imagine that you are the baby. Teacher will ask you, are you good at snowboarding? What is your answer? No, I am not. If you are good, you can answer to teacher May. Yes, I am. But if not, 
You can say, no, I am not. Example, you are the baby. Imagine that you are the baby. You want to try the snowboarding. So teacher may again I will ask you, are you good at snowboarding? You can answer, yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay. Are you good at bowling? What is your answer? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Say, so it's up to you. If do you think you are good in bowling, you can answer, yes, I am. If, if you think you are not good in bowling, you can answer, no, I am not. Okay. Are you good at ice skating? No, I am not. Or you can say, yes, I am. Are you good at kayaking? Yes, I am. Or you can say, no, I am not. If you, if you know that you are not good in kayaking, you can answer teacher me, no, I am not. But if you know you are good at kayaking, you can answer, yes, I am. Okay, do you understand, students? Are you good at fishing? Yes or no? Yes, I am. You can answer also, no, I am not. Are you good at skiing? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Okay, let us practice and let us complete the sentence. Practice. You will answer yes, I am, no, I am not, but we're going to fill in the missing words. Okay, look at the number one. What is the missing to forming a question? Are you good at what is in the picture? What is in the picture? Sailing or skiing? Sailing. Okay, again, can you read? Let us read. Are you good at sailing? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay. Next picture. What is the missing word? Are. Very good. So let's. What is the missing word here? Look at the picture. Motor cross. Very good. Let us ask the questions and read. Are you good at motor cross? What is your answer? Yes, I am. No, I am not. If you are good in motocross, you can say, yes, I am. If you are not good, you say, no, I am not. Last one, what are the missing words? Are you good, very good at, what is this? Sailing or kayaking? Kayaking, very good. Are you good at kayaking? Yes, I am. No, I am not. What is the difference between these two? Sailing and kayaking. In kayaking, we just use small boat, okay? In kayaking, we just use a small boat. But here, we use a bigger boat in sailing, okay? Example. Let us... We use the be verb. When you say be verb, the auxiliary verb. And what are they? These are the two examples of be verb, is and are. We use the be verb, is and are. Again, what is be verb? Sometimes we call auxiliary verb. What is that? It's a helping verb, okay? So first, we focus only in the is and are informing a yes no questions we use the be verb or is and are informing a yes and no questions and answerable by yes or no too example is he good at kayaking is is a verb very good this is our be verb or auxiliary verb and how about the he it is our the subject or it is the pronoun, okay? So, the question is, is he good at kayaking? The answer is, yes, he is. Or, no, he was not. Example, are you good at bowling? R is the be verb. 
So this is the interrogative form. When you say interrogative form, it's a forming of question. We use this be verb in asking questions. So this is what you call interrogative form. Are you good at bowling? Yes, I am. No, I am not. When you say yes, I am, you are, this is a affirmative. You are confirming that you are good in bowling or you are answering in a passive way. The other word is affirmative. How about if you are answer a negative? You say, no, I am not. It is a negative answer or form. Again, are you good at bowling? This is the interrogative form. Yes, I am. This is the affirmative or the passive or you are confirming that you are good in bowling. If you are not good in bowling, this is the negative way of answer. No, I am not. Okay, do you understand now? This is the table. Look at this. This is the affirmative form. I, am, you, are, he, she, is, it. If plural, we, you, and they. This is the singular and this is the plural. But we just focus only in the R and is. And if the answer is negative, we use this. I am not, you are not, he is not, she is not, it is not. This is the singular form and this is the plural form. And interrogative form when we forming a question. Are you good? He is, is he good? Okay. Any questions? If you have no other questions, let's go and take another example. Are you good at fishing? You can answer yes, I am. No, I am not. What is the verb? Are. So you, you're going to answer yes, I am. No, I am not. Is he good at sailing? Yes, he is. No, he is not. What is the verb? Is. And what is the pronoun? He. Is she good at skiing? Yes, she is. Or you can answer no, she is not. Or no, she isn't. A one tip. Always remember, look at the V verb in the informing of questions. The, the V verb is are. So you're going to answer I am. And the V verb is here is is. He. So you need to complete your sentence. Yes, he is. No, he is not. Okay? If look at the V verb and the subject. He, is she good at skiing? So you're going to answer yes, she is. And no, she is not. Any questions? If you have any question, ask Teacher May. Okay, for your homework, instruction. Open your activity book on page 13. Answer Unit 3 and Unit 4. Again, open your activity book on page 13. Answer Unit 3 and Unit 4. Good job today, students. Goodbye, students, and have fun. If you have any question, just message Teacher May, okay? Bye-bye, and see you tomorrow for our new topic. Thank you so much.